friends welcome back to my channel sassy i'm here to do another review of 90 day fiance the other way child listen i dozed off a couple of times <laughs> i dozed off woke back up 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 hey hey dozed off woke back up dozed off woke back up <laughs> Child, I thought this episode was boring, honey. Oh, child. But let's get into it, honey. Let's talk about it. All right, let's talk about R&B. All's home, okay? Breastfeeding that baby. I guess that's all she does, honey. Breastfeed that baby all the time. Y'all can't show nothing else. Okay, well. B, he working, okay? He working at the club, all right? He also up in the studio. Y'all know that club, that club that he MC at, he dance at, and all that bunch of stuff, which leaves all at home by herself, okay? She likes to tell us that she's at home by herself, how hard it is for her to take care of this baby. She is lonely, okay? She want her man there some of the time. But see, B, he need to work. Period. All right? And, oh, you need to find something to do. Ain't you a freelance writer? Right. Okay, won't you do that? So, B took it upon himself to invite. All didn't invite him. B invited him. His sister and friend over to the house to keep all company because he feels like all is lonely and she needs somebody to talk to or whatever. Now all said that listen, okay, me and the sister, we really ain't that cool with each other. And plus I would rather for him to be here than them. And what about that sister? What's her name? Wish. And what about that friend, honey? That friend seen messy boots, honey. So does that sister. Now, see, while that sister was there, honey, she put in all's head, honey. Talk about, yeah, he down there at that club, you know, having a good old time. You know, around those women. What you think about him being around those women all the time? Wish knew what she was doing, child. She knew what she was doing. She knew what she was doing. And, of course, here's all. It's done got her thinking, okay? She's thinking that B is down there bumping and grinding on those women. What he doing all working all late? Who been calling his phone? Mm-hmm. I see sums up. Now, let me backtrack. When people show up at y'all's house uninvited, do y'all let them in? Well, let me tell you what I do. I don't. See, that's one of my pet peeves. Don't show up at my house uninvited. I don't care who you are. You can be the good Lord himself. You ain't getting in my house. In fact, this is how I am. I will walk past the window, stand in the window, look at you while you knocking. Don't do it. Do not do it. You don't know what I'm doing up in here. I may be taking me a hot bath. I may be in the shower. I may be looking like who done it, what for. I may be in there having a good time. I may be in there doing a bump, bump, bump. And you're going to show up at my house uninvited. You ain't getting in. Now, have I shown up at people's house uninvited? Sure I have. Drop off a gift. If I have, you know, some items I want to drop off, I'll drop them off at your porch. Bye. Keep it moving. Now, if I'm in the neighborhood of said person and I see a car there, I give him a quick little ring ring and be like, hey, what's up? I'm in your neighborhood. You up for some company? And if they don't answer, I keep it moving. If they answer, be like, girl, you better come on in. Cool. But, mm-mm, you know. Mm -mm. See, if I was there with my baby, already feeling lonely, tired, beat down, heated, there's no way they would walk in through my door. But see, it ain't me. But anyway, so of course, here is, you know, all thinking the worst. Meanwhile, have y'all not forgot 
when her and her mama went to the club and B was beating on that woman's cheeks like a, a drum. Honey, he was beating on them marshmallow fluffy brown cakes, honey. All just sit there. Y'all remember what that mama said? That mama said, you sure about this? You sure? This is where he work at. You sure about this? What did all say? I trust him. See, she trusted him then. But see, now, there's some, you know, she ain't really trusting him. Because, you know, she done had the baby. She feeling some type of way. She's all upset. It's, honey, just a mess. So, B, he's putting on the toilet seat, child. Thank the Lord. Okay? Because the in-laws are coming and they need a toilet seat. So he's putting on the toilet seat. Every, the conversation was going fine. She's telling B to call her dad doctor. What is it? Dr. Wyland? Dr. Weinstein? Whatever. Okay? For respect. Don't call him Fred. Call him doctor. Okay? And so B was like, all right. He was like making jokes, talking about he gonna go, yo, 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 what's up, doctor? What's up? What's up? And so she was like, please don't do that. So the conversation was light and fluffy. And then, here she come, talking about, we haven't been getting along. And she says, I hate to bring this up when my parents are coming on this day, but I just need to get off your chest. Oh, you didn't have to bring it up. You brought it up because you wanted some type of argument, some type of tension. Girl, stop. So she starts talking to me about him and where he works and who calling his phone. Is he cheating? You cheating? You cheating? Who's on your phone? Who been calling you? Because see, this one time you got a phone call and I said hello and said person hung up. See, I go through your phone. And I have no problem in doing it. Now, B was like, listen, I don't even know why she's all upset. Okay. Okay, I have to work. This is where I work. This is how we make a living. This is how I make a living. I mean, she bugging. But I don't really think it's right for her to go through my phone. Do y'all go through y'all's man or woman's phone? Do y'all go through the phone? I can sit here and honestly say I have never went through any of my man's phone. Any. What's the point? What's the point? If you go through the phone and you find out something, what do you think is going to happen? Okay. Holler, scream, yell, punch the air, or punch them. Or you just let it be and let it work out in the wash, honey. What you do in the dark will come out in the light. Ain't that what they said, y'all? Child, I don't, even, I don't even worry about stuff like that, child. But anyway, so of course, here comes, you know, all talk about she's not a jealous person. But for some reason, honey, her jealousy is just waiting to bust out. She was like, give me your phone. He was like, what? He, she said, give me your phone. And then he kissed the phone. And then he was like, oh, wait a minute. Uh, I got some messages. I got some Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. What's, what, who is this? Who is this? Aretha, okay, let me just go ahead. Wait a minute, let me just delete that. Wait a minute, wait. She said, give it up. Honey, when I tell you, she snatched that phone from his hand. I said, babe, Have y'all ever snatched a phone? So she's going through the phone. And he was like, you don't be snatching my, my phone like that. Why are you doing that? It ain't nothing in there. Go ahead. Go through it. Go through it. But his, his left eye got to twitching. Did y'all notice that? He was sitting there like this. Go ahead. Go ahead and go through it. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, Lord. So, of course, she was going through the phone. I don't even think anything even happened with that. She didn't find out anything, I don't guess. So, it's time for the parents to come. The parents are staying in the hotel. So, the baby and all is going to the hotel while B is going to pick up the parents. 
So on their way to the hotel to drop off all and the baby, here's B. Oh yeah, um, I forgot to tell you, I got a word tonight. Yeah, you already been battling with this woman. Y'all been battling for weeks now. Okay, weeks. And you wait until the night of your in-laws, soon to be in-laws, come to town to tell her that you working. When you know she already feels the type of way because you're working all the time. And she says she needs help with that baby. Guess what happened now? What happened, y'all? Honey, all through a fit. All through a fit. She was like, I am upset. I'm pissed. How are you going to wait till now to tell me you got to work when my parents are coming to town? You got to meet my dad. You already done met my mom, but you need to meet my dad, and then you're going to go to work? And you didn't tell me? Oh, okay, so that just laps out your head. That just fell out. You just forgot to tell me. Child, of course, B, he is just just tripping all over his words, over his tongue. He says, listen, it's my fault. I should have told you. I forgot. You know, no one could cover the shift. I think what he was trying to say is someone needed to cover Okay, no one could cover his shift. He had to work. He was scheduled to work, but no one was covering it. I think that's what he was trying to say. He couldn't get out of it. Anyway, so of course, B is hot, honey. She is hot. So he goes, he picks up um, the mama and the daddy. I really like our parents. I really like ours parents. I really do. They just seem so kind. And so B was introducing himself and he kept calling, you know, R's dad doctor. And so, you know, he was like, don't be calling me that. You know, call me Fred, you know. But B was like, oh, you know, for some respect, you know, I want to call you, you know, doctor. And, you know, so they had a cute little banter. It's time to, you know, go and, you know, look at the baby. And, of course, the mom is just gushing over that baby. They just seem like sweet, kind, you know, um, you know, parents. So anyway, of course, here's all, okay? Her and her little swole face, child, honey, she is mad. So she let it be known that B has to go to work, okay? B was like, he got to go to work. He don't care nothing about y'all. He could have, you know, stayed here and, you know, been with the family. But now he gonna go to work, be with some women. She didn't say all that. <laughs> and so the mama, she was making banter out of She was, you know, doing a little, you know, a quick little cute little funny. So, I mean, of course, R is staying there with the baby in one of the rooms while the parents is in another room. And so she is hot, boy. She is mad at B. B was like, listen, I got to get to work. And he leaves. <sighs> Y'all, yeah, that's all in B. Let's move on. All right, this ain't going to take long. Let's talk about June and Devin. All right, Devin, she has some information for us. She said that a while ago that she found out that she was with child. All right, now she just had that baby, okay? And now she found out that she was pregnant again. Now, see, while you doing all that talking, okay, you was fussing and, you know, you didn't know if you wanted to be with June and then you done found out about the girls and the phone and blah, 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 honey. It didn't stop you from doing a little bump, 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 okay? But, sad news, she lost the child. But she said that before, that she said that when she found out that she, you know, had the baby, they were cool with it. We gonna have another baby, okay? We doing okay now, all right? The pictures and all that, honey, that was a thing of the past, child. He deleted them, and it's, it's a wash. We ain't even gonna talk about it no more. So she found out she was pregnant. They were in a good 
a good space. June got a job. They got a place. Everything was working out. And then, you know, she found out that she had a miscarriage. And it has to be heartbreaking. Okay. It has to be to lose a child. So, I'm not going to say anything, you know, jokey jokey about June and Devin because... You know, that's just a sad, sad thing. And wasn't it sweet when June was making her some collard green soup? Is that what that was, y'all? Was that collard green soup? <laughs> honey, it must have been good because, honey, Devin was tired it up. But anyway, um, I hate that for Devin and um, June. But, hey, okay, you know, they're hurt. She's upset by it. But in time, hopefully... Um, you know, they can move on and, you know, just keep doing what they're doing. All right, all right, let's move on, child. Lord have mercy, bye, okay? Let's talk about Tim and Maylisa. Y'all, this ain't going to take long. I mean not long at all, child, short video. So, as we know, Tim's mom and auntie's coming. Maylisa already said that there's tension between those, the mama and her, Okay. She said that it's just a mess. She really don't want to, you know, hang out with the mama, okay? She'll show them the sights, but she don't feel like hanging out, so she's going to go stay at her parents' house. So the mom and the auntie come, and, you know, everything was great. They was hugging. How you doing? Everything's fine. They go back to the apartment, and child, they talking, you know, pleasantries. And then <laughs> May Lisa said, well, it's about 6.45. I'm going to go to my parents' house. <laughs> Honey, Melissa said, I'm bouncing. And so Tim's mom was like, oh, really? Oh, okay. Well, okay. Of course, Tim thinks that Melissa should stay. Okay. Stay there. You know, my mom is also here to see you, and you go into your uh, parents' house. It just don't look good. So anyway, Melissa said, I don't care. Okay. I think it's for the best. All right. If I leave. So he walks, Melissa to the car, and the auntie and the mama's like, what do you think that's about? The mama said, girl, I don't know, child. I don't know, child. I don't know what is going on. Okay, so Tim comes back. And so Tim basically was like, listen, she just feels more comfortable, you know, staying at the parents' house because there was some tension between you two. Okay, and then Tim even brought up, you know, the mama, you know, calling the cops on, you know, I'm sorry, threatening to call the cops on May Lisa when they was cutting up, honey, screaming, yelling, throwing dishes, honey. The mama said, listen here, I will call 911 sell it down. So anyway, so Tim is like, listen, we're going to have to sit down. Okay, y'all going to be here, my woman here, I'm here, we all got to get along. We just going to need a good old-fashioned sit-down. Let's just keep this, you know, let's just get this out, all right? Then that auntie was like, listen, my name Bennett ain't in it, okay? When y'all have this sit-down, I'll be elsewhere. Don't you put my name up in this. What you, what you bring me here for? I come here to get some good Colombian food. <laughs> ain't here in the drama. So later on, they go to this food market. Honey, when I tell you, I would have spent my whole day at that food market. I would have spent all day there. Y'all, I love me a good old food market, child. I would have spent, oh, and everything looks so fresh and good, child. Ooh, mm, 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 mm. Columbia looks beautiful. Would I go to Columbia? Maybe where Maylisa is. <laughs> I'll go there. And Maylisa's mother-in-law, I mean, um, and Tim's mom even said, Tim's mom said, listen, I am shocked, okay? I was expecting, you know, violence and, you know, just trash. And, you know, I was just thinking horrible things of this country. And boy, was I wrong. It's absolutely beautiful here. And she says, I love it so much. So she was enjoying herself. And then it was time for the little set down. And honey, nothing came out of it. Okay? Nothing at all. All right? She says that she, you know, didn't know about 
Tim and May Lisa, you know, being together. She thinks, hey, maybe y'all shouldn't be together because the only thing y'all do is, is fuss and fight. You cheated on her, just cutting up. Maybe you shouldn't be together. And Tim was like, listen, you said that you didn't think May Lisa was good enough for me. And she was like, now wait a minute, I didn't use those exact words. Okay, maybe you two wasn't the right fit because of what you two were going through. Okay. Again, who cheated? Who cheated? So, Melissa said, she did say that. She said that I wasn't good enough for her son. <sighs> Bottom line is, Tim's mama said, listen, okay? If you two are happy with each other, y'all are working with each other, y'all are trying to establish a relationship, y'all are trying to grow cold. Okay, I'm cool with it. If y'all want to, you know, have get married, have babies, have 10 babies, fine. You do that. I will be happy. I just want you two to be happy. So everything worked out fine. The mama seemed to like Melissa. Now, Melissa is trying to give the mama a chance. Tim is still pasty. Child, bottom line is... <laughs> Until they move on from this cheating, they'll never be happy. They will never let it go. Let it go. You have to let it go. On both sides. Let's move on. Child, you're going to journey. And some <laughs> Child, the Rona done hit. The Rona has hit, okay? So, of course, they are in quarantine and, you know, the streets are deserted. You cannot leave. You cannot go anywhere. And Jenny is on the phone with her daughter. Her daughter is crying, it's not flying, child. And she was like, I am so worried about you. I am worried. There is no way I can get to you. If something happens, how am I going to get to you, mama? You out there. This is serious. And so, Jeannie was like, girl, I'm good. Okay, I know in my age group, we are in the red. <laughs> it ain't good in my age group. But guess what, honey? I ain't going nowhere. I have not stepped out this house. I am on lockdown. So, I'm fine. You take care of you. You take care of everything on that side. And don't worry about me. I'm good. I'm fine. Of course, Jenny, she's a little bit scared about the Rona, like everybody else, okay? And even Samit. Samit said, listen, I'm a diabetic, and Jenny old. Y'all, what about when he said that? I'm a diabetic, and my woman old. <laughs> he said anything can happen. So they are with each other 24-7. Okay, we all know how that is, child. We all been through it, child. Quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. Lockdown, lockdown, child. It was nothing fun. Honey, March, April, May. Ooh, wasn't that a time, child? Child, now, some people are still ain't having it. Okay, some people are like, I ain't going out. Okay, so anyway. So, Samit tells Jeannie, listen, I'm divorced. All right, we don't have anything stopping us, and they are going to have a um, a ring ceremony. Ain't that what it's called, y'all? Ring ceremony. Look, even though Submit's parents ain't with it, see, Submit's dad told Submit, "We gonna fight you on this. We are not accepting you. Uh, we are not accepting Jenny." Okay, I don't know how many more ways we need to tell you. We will fight you. Didn't his dad say legally? Ain't that what he said? Child, a whole mess. But Samit said, I don't care. Okay. Jeannie is the woman I love, and we are going to have a ring ceremony, child. Child, what about next week when Jeannie going to be crying, not flying? Child, I cannot wait to see this mess. Anyway, child. Child, that's Jeannie and Samit. Nothing much happened now. Let's move on. All right, last and least. Brittany and Yazan. So we know that Brittany 
is on her way to join to see Yazan. Yazan was in a car wreck, child. Yazan said that he had tried calling Brittany five, six times. She didn't answer. So while he was driving, he decided to text her. Where you at? Where you been? Where you doing? Now while he did that, honey, he got into a wreck. Child, did y'all see that car, child? Honey, that tire was screaming, wasn't it? <laughs> honey, he was literally tilted to the left, child. And of course, you saw, honey, he done been through it with everything. So him and Brittany get into a screaming match because Brittany said, you can't blame me for wrecking your car. Yazan said, I can't blame you. I'm trying to reach you. So Brittany, she's in her car. So Brittany, she's on her way to the, you know, the airport. And she's like, I'm not going. I don't want to hear about his mouth. I ain't here to listen to the fussing and the cussing and him blaming me for everything. I'm tired of it. I thought he was going to change. He ain't changed. Well, then, honey, a few seconds later, you know what? I am going to Jordan. I'm going to tell my homegirl to come, and we're going to have a girl's trip in Jordan. We're going to have a girl's trip in Jordan. Is that what happened? Child, bye. Who does that, Brittany? So, she gets to the airport. Now, did y'all see this mess? Staged. The whole thing was staged. I don't buy it. So, Yazan, he hadn't heard from Brittany since they had their big blow up. Hadn't heard. So he goes ahead with his raggedy car leaning to the left. Y'all see that right tire was on it. It was like. <laughs> so he goes to the airport anyway to pick up his boo. Now he's sitting right there at the door. All right. Now here's Brittany. Brittany says, you know what? I ain't even going to talk to Yazan. I'm not going to text him. I'm not going to call him. Me and my homegirl are going to have the time of our lives in Jordan. Okay? I'm not even going to see him. In fact, I'm done, done. I'm done with Yazan. I don't even want to be with him anymore. So she done broke up with him. Okay? Yazan don't know this, but she done broke up with him. So she's going through this airport. Okay? People everywhere, you know, just like an airport. She goes out the door. She gets in the cab. Now, as she's getting in the cab, walking to the cab, that is when Yazan spotted her. So he goes outside. He is hot, honey. Hook a coochie hot. And he was like, can you believe this? Can you believe it? She's leaving. Oh, my God. She's leaving? So he is mad. This is some bull crap. What is she thinking? What is she doing? All right. Now, Brittany says that she didn't see Yazan. Okay, she didn't see him. Yazan didn't see her until she got into the cab. I called bull crap. You mean to tell me, 90 Day Fiance Producers, you want me to think that all you producers are that? It's probably about 8, 9, 10 of you. And one of you couldn't get on the radio and be like, yeah, Bob, Bob. Where you at, Bob? I'm over here with Yazan. Okay. I'm over here with Yazan. All right, well, I got Brittany. Okay. Where y'all at? Yazan over here by the door. Okay, Brittany's about 15 minutes out. So you mean to tell me any other time we hear people on headsets talking, we see camera, we see sound, we see all this stuff, behind the scenes stuff. But you want us to believe that Brittany walked right past your zone and one of you producers couldn't say nothing. You could be like, Brittany, what that is on? Your zone, what that Brittany? Bull crap. I don't buy it. Staged. Staged. Okay? Staged. And it just it looked ridiculous. So anyway, so Brittany, she goes back to the hotel. Okay? She says, well, I guess Yazan wasn't at the airport. I didn't see him. I guess it's over. So Yazan, he's still, you know, hot up in his raggedy car that's leading to the left, child. Honey, his bangs done got the sweat, child. Honey, he look like he ain't slept in years. He probably just finished eating some kibbles and bits. Child, just a hot mess. 
So, it's time for the friend to come. Ain't her friend lovely? Just a breath of fresh air. Her friend come, and she was like, what happened? What is going on? So, Brittany goes through every single thing about what has happened. Okay, and the friend was like, listen, you need to talk to him. That's your man. You know, even when Brittany told the friend that Yazan was in a car wreck, what did that friend say? What was the first thing that friend said? Oh, God, is he okay? Brittany couldn't even say that. Then here comes Brittany. Well, I guess. I mean, <laughs> just the best. The friend looked at her like, are you serious? You really sitting there talking to me like this about your man? That's your man. We come all the way here to Jordan. I mean your man. I mean your son. I guarantee you that. And so, Brittany, she's sitting there looking foolish because, see, her friend done cracked her face. Her friend made her realize how just unreasonable she is being. Just ridiculous. So, Brittany come talk about, I do miss him. Do you now? So, Brittany says she miss Yazan, okay? Now, she calls Yazan. Yazan's like, hey, then he gets hot. He was like, where are you? I seen you leave. Okay, I was at the airport. Brittany said, I didn't see you. He said, I was there. And she was like, why didn't you text me and tell me that? Um, Brittany, Brittany, is that banana powder clowning up your ears and your eyes? He told you on your way to the airport that he had been calling and calling and calling you and texting you before the accident. You didn't answer because y'all had a big fight. Why would he think that you would answer if he said you're going to pick you up at the airport? You At the airport, you said that you were done, done. Child, Brittany is a whole contradiction. Just foolish. So anyway, so she was like, well, I didn't see you. Then they get into an argument, honey. Her phone went dead. It was just a big mess. And so the friend is sitting there. In Jordan. And she's like, Lord, Hammers, I done flew 24 hours for this. Mm -mm. Brittany, get yourself together. Now, I don't know what is going on, but this ain't it. This ain't cute. This ain't trying to be cute. This is a hot mess with a triple S. <laughs> so, it's the next day. Okay. And, child, Brittany has said that she had listened to her friend. Her friend started to make sense. She missed Yazan. Blah, blah, blah. But it's time to go out. Now, her friend had on a whole turtleneck. I mean, it was up to here. Covered up. Brittany now had on a see-through mesh outfit shirt in Jordan. See, her friend got good sense. Her friend said, now, I know not. She said, you, go, you wearing that? Her friend said, you wearing that? You, you go come and you got something to put on over there? And so Brittany said, I got my jacket. Child, if I was that friend, I said, here, I got another turtleneck. I am not stepping foot outside of this hotel room with your tits out. Okay? I ain't going to jail. And I damn sure ain't going to hell. Okay? So come up, buttercup. Okay, so we can get started, but no, not Brittany, honey. She got her 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 tatas all hanging up high. Okay? She put on a coat that didn't even cover it up. So they go to this market. Okay? Packed. Honey, they walking through, child, and all eyes was on Brittany. Brittany come talking about, you know, when I went with Yazan, we don't get this kind of look. See, Yazan ain't there. Okay? But when I'm with Yazan, I don't get this kind of look. They're really looking, they're talking, they're murmuring, okay? She says it's because she's black and that she's built like the side of a wall, honey. She's a brick <laughs> house. Hey. See, she thinks because she got thick thighs, a booty, and some, you know, tight ties, that's why they looking. No, honey, they looking at you because you are dressed way inappropriately for Jordan. What is wrong? How many times have Brittany have been over there and showing just disrespect? Disrespect. The friend, first time over there, she got a whole blown turtleneck. See, she did her research. She did her research. See, she ain't trying to go to jail or hell, honey. She ain't trying to.
me get hurt over there. But Brittany, she just walking around with tight jeans, her boobs out. I mean, the disrespect, the disrespect. And so the friends, so they go inside, people are looking, and they get to drink and chat, okay? And so the friend was like, listen, you need to call your son. All right, you need to call him. You need to talk to him, see how he's doing. And so here's Brittany. I do miss him. I miss him, okay? Now, before I was bad, but now I do miss him. So she calls Yazan while she knows she's been drinking. Yazan was like, hey, baby, how are you? They talking all sweet with each other. He was like, where are you? I'll come and get you, all right? And she was like, i send you the address. Knowing good and well, a, she been drinking. B, she got her boobs hanging out. And this is the first time she's introducing her homegirl to her man. The whole thing is just a disaster. So, here comes your czar rolling up, leading to the left. Because that, that poor right side is just damaged goods, child. And child, here is Brittany coming out of this ball. No hey, no bye, no kiss my tail, nothing. She's sitting in the passenger seat. You're all looking cross-eyed. The friend in the back sitting like this. <sighs> um, 90 Day Fiance producers, can we get rid of Brittany and just keep the brand? Can we get rid of all and keep her parents? <laughs> Can we do that, child? Because, child, honey, these women, the American women, are cutting up. But, what did y'all think about this episode, child? That's all I can give. I can't give any more. All right? Y'all know what to do. Leave it down below. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, friends, bye!